The whole hog roasting pit construction is well underway. Lisa and I picked out a good spot for it. It's going to be in the ground somewhat like an earth berm home. Well insulated with dirt inside the cement blocks. Should be able to hold heat. Uh, constant temperature better that way. We're looking forward to roasting the whole hog. This will be the first time ever of doing this. So we're looking forward to it and excited to see how it turns out. Stay tuned and we'll keep you updated. Good evening YouTube. The time has come. In one week, one week from tomorrow, we're going to be roasting a whole hog. Never done it before. Always wanted to do it. And me and a buddy of mine, a couple of buddies of mine actually, are going to be out here roasting a whole hog on uh, on next on a week from Saturday. We're going to have three of us out here working. Two of us are going to be doing it through the night. One's coming on after he gets done from work the next day. And then we'll also have some other company around here. It's time to get started on the finishing touches to the roasting pit. I'm going to pull some pull these thin flat blocks off. And then I'm going to put some rebar supports horizontally across there. I'm going to cut some expanded metal, put the expanded metal down. Then another row of the standard 8-inch blocks. And then these small blocks, these 4-inch, I think they're 3-inch blocks, back on top of that. And when I get that done, it'll be time to build a lid as well. So I'll keep you all uh, informed on what's going on as we go. And let's get started. I wanted to show you what I did with this pit. After I built it, I filled all of the cement blocks with dirt to give it some double insula insulation to hold in the heat. So that went pretty good. Three supports across there really quick. Quick masonry bit on my angle grinder. Recess those down. Now it's time to cut the expanded metal and put the expanded metal down. A little bit out of breath there, but so I've set another layer of blocks on top of here, and I'm going to lay the thin finishing blocks on top. I've thought about it, and I'm not going to fill these blocks with dirt for insulation like I did all the rest. The reason being, it might be perhaps that I need to take it apart or want to take it apart someday to redo something or to replace the expended metal or whatever it might be. So I think that would just be a mess. I'll pass that one up. 
So we'll get right to it. Sometimes it's hard to do things by yourself. This whole project has been done out of things that have cost nothing. Some trading here, some trading there, some stuff I had laying around. I haven't put any finances, I haven't put any money into this project, just a lot of work. 
And so what I was doing there is just filling in a place where my two before wasn't long enough and using up scrap. It's just going to be a lid is all it is. Keep the heat in and keep the smoke from coming out. And so we're just using all the used materials we can, trying to find stuff that doesn't have any, no treated lumber, no chemicals or anything like that. Some really old barn wood and some two before. I'm trying to hurry the best I can and get this done before dark so you see the finished project and then after dark we'll light a fire and burn everything out. Just dumped all my screws. Pause, I'll be back. So there's the lid all finished up and I'm going to take a break drink some water put some tools up put some of the rest of the lumber up that we didn't use then I'm going to build a fire in this thing and start burning all the rust off and all the new off and really heat it up in there and kind of season everything so we'll be back well I told you that I cleaned out my shed, or I, if you follow me on Facebook, I was on Facebook, I posted a deal. It rained me inside for a couple of evenings and I finally cleaned my shop out and I had a lot of scrap material that I kept saving, kept saving, thinking I'd use it for something and finally the pile got so big that I do have some here, I got a good use for it. I'm going to start a fire in this and burn this down then start putting just some natural oak and I've got some walnut over there and some various other things I'm going to put in here and just build a fire, get it good and hot, burn it out. I got me a good fire starter here, brought some scrap papers out of the house that needed thrown away, and, and this is, uh, some people call it pitch wood, some people call it fat wood. It's yellow pine that has a lot of resin in it, and it gets discarded sometimes, not used for certain projects, and uh, an old friend of mine, uh, he, he's gone home to be with the Lord just last year, but he was really big on starting fires with this, and he got me started on it. And he gave me a whole bunch that he had on hand of extra pitch wood. And so I just split it out with my hatchet from time to time, make small pieces. So it's kind of fun and kind of just another good memory. Makes you think about people that you miss and, and friends and loved ones that have gone on to be with the Lord. Sometimes there's little things that stick around and just help them stay in your mind on a constant basis. We'll get back with you in a little while. Probably close to dark or after dark I'll have a fire blazing. Well, I'm glad I didn't fill those blocks, the last layer of blocks with dirt, like we talked about. 
I just couldn't get me a fire going down in there with the little bitty holes that I have. What those holes are for is we're going to actually burn our wood outside the pit over here in a barrel. And we're only going to be shoveling coals underneath the hog. Well, I wasn't thinking ahead far enough, and I just couldn't quite get a fire going in there. So I just took everything we've just done, taking it down, half of it, raised up this wire so I can get me a really good fire going in there and heat everything up and season it out. So that'll work. All right. We'll catch up with you toward the end of next week whenever we start roasting a hog.